The absolute method for data entry. With these next data entry commands, what I want to do is I want you to make sure that you're looking on your command line. And that's going to be located here at the bottom of the screen. So I want to make sure that you're looking down here. I would always recommend that you have at least three of the word commands showing, mainly because as we get more and more into this course, you're going to have a little bit more information on those commands. So I want to make sure that on your command line that you have at least three commands and then you can start typing your command. The next thing I want you to do is make sure that you have your dynamic input turned off and that's going to be your function key 12. If you want to actually see it down here on our taskbar, I'm going to go to where it says customization and I'm going to click on the three little bars and right next to the dynamic input I'm going to put a check next to it. I'll click back in my screen to close the, the screen and now I have this little icon next to it and it tells me that right now my dynamic input is off. I want you to make sure that you have your dynamic input off. If you hit the function key 12 button it should come up next to your command line here and it's going to say dynamic input turned off. But if you want to see it graphically you can have it here and you have that turned off. Another thing that we want to have turned off is going to be our ortho mode which is right next to it. It's going to be the one that has a little right angle symbol. So I got both of those turned off and now I'm ready to start drawing using the absolute. So I'm going to start with the line command and now it's asking me where's my first point? In this case my first point I know where it's at if you look at the example and it's going to be at 1 comma 1 enter Next, I'll go to my next point, which is going to be 4, comma, 1, enter. After that, I'm going to go to 4, comma, 3, enter. 3, comma, 5, enter. 1, comma, 3, enter. And anytime you want to go back to the first point, as long as I haven't escaped out of this command, the option that I'm going to use is going to be the C to close. So you're going to see on your command line down here you'll get a couple of options where you get a close or an undo. So the undo is if I made a mistake or something. I can always undo instead of exiting out the command. Or I can close it. And I'll show you what the undo does here in a second. Okay, so for example if I made a mistake and I didn't want to go to that point I can either click on the undo or I can hit U enter on my keyboard and now you can see that I'm back up to the top point. I'll go ahead and put that point back in which is 1 comma 3 enter and now I'm just going to use the close function so I can click on it here on the command line and it will close the command and it will exit. You're more than welcome to type in 1 comma 1 again and it's going to bring you back to that point but you also got to remember to hit the escape key to go ahead and exit out of the command. 